Good evening, folks. This is Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project on Wednesday, October 25th at 11.18 p.m. Mountain Time. We're here to discuss why we're here. Now, the universe shouldn't exist according to science. What world are we living in? <laughs> the state of science is embarrassing. And it's hard for me to say that being a scientist. I got into academia in, in the late 1980s. I became a geologist as an undergraduate at Temple University. I got a scholarship to stay on for graduate school and teach. And then science began falling apart in the middle of the 90s. When funding went to global warming research, the National Science Foundation stopped giving money out to people doing actual science. And that was the beginning of the end. And now, <laughs> 20 years later, since I left academia, the universe shouldn't exist according to science. That's how pathetic science is. Let's read the article together, folks. Our existence is one giant, unexplainable head scratch. The universe shouldn't technically exist, according to top scientists who have spent their careers trying to figure out how the beginning of everything didn't immediately destroy itself. Now, the current model for the birth of the universe predicts that equal parts of matter and antimatter were produced by the Big Bang. But since matter and antimatter are identical except for their opposite electrical charges, they annihilate each other. A reaction that fuels the Starship Enter Enterprise on Star Trek. When the two collide, they combust in a violent eruption, meaning none of anything should be here today. Well, let's just jump back. If the current model for the birth of the universe predicts that we shouldn't be here today, and we're here today, then the Big Bang is bullshit! Which most of us already know. The Big Bang is nonsense. Everything isn't expanding. It's going towards us and away from us in equal amounts. Which means that we live in an infinite universe. It's been here for an infinite time, which is unfathomable to scientists. You can't fathom infinity. If the universe has been here forever, all of your math is wrong. We've known the math is wrong. Einstein told us the math was wrong. But let's get back to the billions of dollars being spent at CERN because researchers there, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, have been looking for any type of variation between matter and antimatter. They've been looking for the Higgs boson, the God particle, that would have allowed matter to dominate and explain how they're... Re how you're reading this right now, how I'm reading it. In the past, the research team has tried to find differences in the particle's mass, electric charge, even properties that haven't been defined yet, but everything comes up identical. Their latest study made the most precise measurements over 350 times more precise than previous numbers. A parts per billion measurement of the anti-proton magnetic moment. I'll leave you links to the paper. What it proves is that we don't live in a Big Bang universe. And it also proves that all of the current science that we know is wrong. And, all, and the models of the universe are wrong. And we need to rethink everything from the beginning. And it's proven right here in this paper. And it's proven in this stupid nature of this headline. If the universe shouldn't exist according to science, then sh science shouldn't exist according to science because science is in a terrible place. And it can't understand, which we just determined reading this simple article, that the Big Bang hypothesis, which is the current model for the birth of the universe, is wrong. 100%. Their latest study made the most precise measurements. We just saw, saw the paper, and I will leave you links. All of our observations find a complete symmetry between matter and antimatter, which is why the universe should not actually exist, Christian Smora, the study's lead author, said in a statement. 
An asymmetry must exist here somewhere, but we simply do not understand where the difference is. What is the source of the symmetry break? The source of the symmetry break is your stupidity in your model, which is wrong. Researchers are now looking at the gravity of antimatter to see whether or not it could fall up, just like they found the gravity wave. Also total nonsense. I'll bring you to this next paper and we'll finish up here on nonsense. Colliding neutron stars apply kiss of death to the theories of gravity. Folks, if you've been following science and its pathetic decline into science fiction and complete nonsense, you will find that all the observed data in the recent decades has contradicted all the existing models. Now, that's not to say that there aren't models that exist that better explain these obser observations. Now, so the observations we're seeing in astrophysics completely go against the standard model of cosmology because it's wrong. It's so wrong <laughs> that the New York Post can publish this in garbage. The universe shouldn't exist according to science. Well, according to me, science is, shouldn't exist because it's not science anymore. Because you can't even see when your models are wrong. All observations say your models are wrong. All data says your models are wrong. So you need to rethink a new model. Theorit theoreticians claim to love data. Data is the thing that allows them to test their theories and prove that they are right. Unfortunately for them, the data often doesn't support the theory. In those cases, the data has just stabbed your labor of love right in the heart. And you are expected to say, thank you, sir, may I have another? Well, thank you, science, may I have another? Because you're completely off base. You just gave millions of dollars to a bunch of science fiction authors that claim to have found a gravity wave, which is probably a wasp having sex in a tube on the device that they're listening with. Be safe, everyone.